What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Hinky Pinks. If you're a new year, thank you for clicking on this video. I don't know why I'm still holding my hands like this. Thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you guys enjoy. It's been a while since I've been on my channel. What's new? But I'm here. <laughs> so in today's video, as promised from a while ago, actually, it was actually last month, September. It's now October. Well, by the time you guys are seeing this, it's October. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I set out my bullet journal which was in my favorites video so in my favorites video I just mentioned it I didn't show you guys how I set it out and how I've been using it etc so that is what today's video is for I'm going to be showing you guys how I laid out my bullet journal what my weekly spreads look like what my monthly spreads look like and this is quite beginner friendly I think it's not or artistic with like you know paint and water paint and all that that you see the fancy ones if you guys do enjoy this video then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you guys go and follow my socials my instagram and my twitter so you guys don't miss out on any updates and basically updates on when i'm going to skip a video or a blog post because i'm very bad at consistency but anyways moving on if you guys want to see how I set out my bullet journal and how you can use a bullet journal or you're just interested in seeing what on earth I've drawn inside this thing, then just keep watching. So when you open up the bullet journal, you see, I don't know if that lighting is okay. All right. So you see this little, uh, you know, this belongs to blah, blah, blah. Okay. And when you turn over, I just put a key. This is the key that I've used throughout the bullet journal. It's a pretty generic one that I just got off Pinterest, like the usual bullet journal. So you put a square for a task. You color it in when it's complete. You color it halfway when it's in progress. An X when it's canceled. Then I put a diamond if it's an appointment or meeting. And then an arrow if it's been extended. Uh, deadline, study. I, I Honestly, I actually don't use all of these. Um, I mostly just use the task I thought I would but you eventually just end up not using it then I've got an index view you'll see that I actually physically numbered each page but I do it as I go along I don't I didn't sit for like hours numbering until the end so then I have an index page so any specific pages I can just put the page number here so you guys can see how I did that. Then I have my future log, which I also still need to fill in, even though this year is almost over. We're in October now. Um, but I set up the future log pretty simple. What's really nice about getting a bullet journal with a dot grid is that it's a little, 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 little sorry, is that it's easy to space things out because you just have to count the squares, you don't have to measure. Then I have a reading list. Again, I have the rest of my books in the, the rest of the list of books that I want to read in another book and I need to transfer it in here still but basically I just put the name of the book the author and if it's been read or not then I have a page for things to research then I have a page for video ideas and a page for blog ideas as you can see I have a lot of video ideas but I have not been posting any videos so it's not that I have no ideas or have nothing to post and a lot of these are actually filmed already I just haven't gotten to editing them so these will all be coming soon <laughs> then I've got blog ideas as well same thing if I've done it then I color it in if I've started it already then I color it halfway then I have a wish list just for things there's no deadline to this wish list just general things that I want to save up to buy or want as a gift or you never know <laughs> so I just put this wish list down over here then uh, this was my August spread I'm just gonna flip through this because uh, the spread I'm using for October is pretty different so I'm just gonna casually flip through this oh okay so this page here is for my digital marketing course I basically put the module the chapters videos and assessments that needs to be done and when I've done each one I cross it off um, I'm actually done with this chapter. I need to update it and I'm writing the assessments and exams this week So that is the setup. I've got to keep on track and up to date with my course Then the next page is the same thing just for my HTML course. It's a very short course I can finish this in like a week So I put that down and then a blank page for my brand management course that's coming up so before I moved to October, this was how my weekly spread looked like before, but I started falling off the grid with following 
through with this weekly spread but basically it worked very well for august as you can see where i had the date over there then i kept this column for my meal plan and then i had a little thing here for don't forget then monday through to sunday and the last block was for like the next week and then oh in the in the sorry on the right panel that i left open i put a habit tracker a water tracker and then to study and to blog so this worked well for the first two months but it was becoming time consuming and i was falling off track with keeping up to like drawing these little squares etc etc so i stopped doing that um i have a blood sugar tracker to keep track of my blood sugar because i do have hyperglycemia most of what should be here is actually written on post-its at my desk at work but you know i tried okay then this was a september street i really like doodling so this is completely unnecessary if you're looking for something real quick you could just write september on the front and that's it but i enjoy doodling and it this is weirdly calming for me then I listed goals. This is a mood tracker. The mood tracker is also a really nice idea, but it ended up not working out for me because, you know, I don't know what my mood is. I have like five different moods throughout the day. So that just did not work out for me. I'm going to move straight over to October. Okay. So this is for this month. Now, what I've changed in October is I've got my cover page and I put a habit tracker down for the entire month instead of having a tracker for each week which I ended up not filling in so I'm starting off with the first I tried the 30th but today just didn't work out at all so from tomorrow so I've got all the habits that I want to do for get that I want to develop or whatever for this month uh, most of them are stuff that I already do it's just to keep track of it because I'm not the most consistent person ever so that is the blog sorry habit tracker that I've put together for this whole month so when I've done it I just color in a little square for the date over there so it makes it a bit easier than doing a weekly tracker okay then this is my monthly spread so I do color code this. Well, I do now. I didn't do it a few months before. But easy peasy, counted the blocks, just drew the grid out, copied the calendar. And I put a key. So for the key, I have YouTube, study, blog, personal, and work. So I write down the important things, important dates, what to remember, and then I highlight it. So all the yellows is what to study. Um, I plan out the whole month of studying for this month so that I know by the end of the month I would have finished a module or at least written my exams because it is self-studying and I have to schedule the exams. I need to keep track of things myself. And then I add in the days that I'm going to be editing a certain video, that I'm going to upload a video, write a blog post, I have a holiday coming up. So this is how I plan my monthly spread. Then I have a spending tracker. So pretty straightforward I just every time I spend something I write it down so at the end of the month I can see where all my money is going then I have a video and blog tracker so if you saw before okay so this is what it looked like before but again it was too time consuming because I was like doodling and I was taking up too much space so I decided sorry to make it a bit smaller Right, so I made it a bit smaller and wrote down basically at the bottom the videos that will be coming up for this month. And then when it's filmed, edited, designed, uploaded and put onto socials, then I color in each block as we go along. And then the same for my blog posts. Then at the bottom, I managed to put my October goals here so I didn't waste the whole page. You see what I did here? Okay, so I put my October goals, uh, finish 5am club starting a new book because that book has really been taking me a long time it's a good book but it's dragging a little bit now so i need a bit of a push to finish it um but yeah so this is my monthly goals and then when i've reached that goal i can just color in the little circle right now this is my new weekly spread and it's only day one but i'm really liking it so i just put week one 30th to the 6th of October then I drew a line straight across Monday Tuesday Wednesday right through to Friday also by drawing it this way I could make Saturday and Sunday a bigger chunk because I have more things to do personally on Saturdays and Sundays if I'm studying if I'm editing if it's like you know cleaning you know just to-do lists etc so then you can see that I add in, it's basically just like a to-do list every day, except that it's easier to keep track of. 
then on the side here I can keep track of my water so each block uh, represents one glass and I've written here because I drink bottles one bottle is more or less two glasses so I need to fill this in I think I've had like one and a half bottles today not great but it's better than nothing this has been actually much easier because it's more straightforward it's quicker to set up there's not much doodling and you know work to put into it so this end up much easier and yeah so that's how I set up my bullet journal basically so that you guys is how I set up and use my bullet journal um, I know this was a very informal and not so fancy kind of video but um, I feel like the reason why I haven't been uploading so consistently is because I feel like I need to be dressed up and I need to be wearing a full face of makeup and I need to have a script in front of me etc etc to film a video but in reality I really don't because I just like filming and sharing random stuff with you guys. I hope you kind of got an idea on how to set up a bullet journal if you're thinking of starting one. I definitely recommend using a bullet journal if you're tackling more than one thing a day. So if you if we have a full-time job, side hustle, studying, etc. So if you have a lot to do in one day, I definitely recommend I'm like moving backwards on my chair but I definitely recommend using a bullet journal because it's so much easier to just keep track of everything in one book if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you're thinking of starting a bullet journal let me know down below if you have any questions let me know down below and if you happen to copy any of the spreads that I've used please do take a picture and share it on Instagram and tag me I'll leave my socials down here below and I hope you guys have an awesome week and I will see you in my next video. Adios amigos.